Good afternoon, friends. So today I'm going to be talking about um, uh, starting in a business for those who haven't done so before. And first off, the title I know is a tiny clickbaity, but um, and it's not. This is not going to be a negative video, but I want people who are starting a business to do it with eyes wide open. Um, the whole idea from Kevin Costner's baseball movie, the, um, shoot, Feel the Dreams. Um, for some of you younger folks out there, it may even have seen it. I do recommend seeing it though. Um, but a lot of people use that movie, a big line was build it and they will come. And in reality, it takes a lot of work. I had a business for 19 years and every day was at least six days a week, 10 to 12 hour days, sometimes seven days a week. So it's not easy. But I want everyone to, who, I actually think everyone should do at least a side gate in their own business, but definitely follow your dreams. Uh, find a business, something that interests you that you love to do. They say that you do what you love and you never work a day in your life. And that should be the goal for everyone. Um, this is always the top of my head. Good. Um, because we were not meant to just slog away at something we hate. But there's polls out there like 70% or more people who have jobs um, don't like what they do. And that's really sad because we spend a good deal of our lives working. And to hate what you do. And I know parents are out there trying to make their lives better for children, and so sometimes that's enough. Um, that if they can toil to do it for their kids, um, that's enough. And for those parents that do that, I commend them. You're sacrificing your life for the next generation. And that's massively commendable. But I think if possible, and we got to look at that word, possible, we should try to do it with love. I did that for 19 years. And I'm on a journey to find the, my next um, dream. And it might be related. It might be similar. Or it might be totally different. Um, but uh, I want everyone to realize the difference. There's a book that every potential entrepreneur should read called The E-Myth. And the big thing in there is it talks about how tons of skilled people get an entrepreneurial seizure. That... You know, cooks, martial artists, yoga instructors, people who have a passion open a business. And that's a big chunk of why 50% of businesses fail in the first five years is because of the fact that they have no idea how to run a business. And I'm not saying you need to go to a business school. And actually, I don't think business school is really good for entrepreneurs. It's good for working in corporations, maybe. Um, a master's degree, a lot of times, even an MBA is, is kind of not as important these days as it used to be. But I definitely think people should get an education. Actually, ideally, in an ideal world, what you should do, even if you don't quit your day job, is let's say you do want to be a martial art, you want to own a martial arts school. And even if you've come up in like really good commercial martial arts schools like uh, certain jiu-jitsu schools, even taekwondo schools, they're known for being well in business. Let's say you've come up into, uh, you've trained at one, or a yoga studio, like big name yoga studio, or a success, at least successfully business-wise. Um, that doesn't mean you have any understand how their business runs. So ideally, or if you want to be, own a restaurant, ideally, find a business you can work at. And if you can't, like if it doesn't pay enough to pay your bills, and talking with people who've been entrepreneurs, and once again, it's hard if you have a family, but if you're just yourself, um, pair your life down, uh, couch surf if you need to, um, but find the business you want to do and work there. You know, start off with the lowly janitor if you have to, um, but try to get, learn as much about the business. Talk to the business owner saying, you know, I don't want, I'm not gonna become your competition someday, uh, but I want to get into this business. So I want to learn every facet of this business. If you do that, you have a much higher level chances. No guarantee. That's the big thing is 
you know, some people would say I was successful because it was 20 years. It didn't take me to retirement or the end of my life. I was always thinking I'd die in the death business. Um, so to me, that wasn't successful. Um, I mean, I'm still proud of the accomplishments I did. Um, but it was a really rough start for both me and my ex-wife. Uh, and I actually worked at a commercial martial arts school for a bit. It, a lot of uh, problems that came up would have been smoothed over because I would have known how to handle it better. And I would have known how to do a lot of things they didn't know how to do. Um, so that's my big tip is, you know, oh, learn as much as you can. Also, a big one that bite a lot of business owners in the butt, small business owners, is Really learn your regulations, tax codes, things like that for your business. Um, a lot of um, business, small business owners learn about all that stuff when something happens, when they have a knock on the door, a phone call, etc. Um, if your city has like uh, a business association, join it. Or like sometimes they'll do free workshops and they're probably boring as anything um, for business owners from the city. Attend those as well. But that's my big thing. Babe. Know what you're getting into. Prepare for it. Um, Lincoln said, supposedly, uh, we don't actually know if this is fact, but it said that Lincoln, President Lincoln was asked, if he had 12 hours to chop down the tree, what would he do? He said he'd spend 11 hours sharpening the axe and then one hour cutting down the tree. Mainly that basically shows the importance of preparation. So I want everyone to follow the dreams, but do it with eyes wide open. Read the myth, and I'll put a link to that in uh, below. Also, work at the business you want to do. If you want to become own a yoga studio, work at a yoga studio. And I said, try to learn all aspects. This might take a year, two, three, whatever. Um, if you're older like me, that's a scary prospect because that really puts out your dream, especially if you've never done it before, farther out. But you will, you'll be having much higher level of success. You don't want to be part of the 50% that fail in the, in the first five years. And you want to make it successful. A lot of small business owners, especially with the COVID lockdown, even before that, the reason a lot, like, they say like 100,000 businesses fail down during the lockdown and 40 percent of those are not coming down so part of that is is most mom and pops have can withstand one month bad month most don't have enough savings like to run the business for more than a month maybe two uh, you want to get to the point where you can do six months a year or whatever you want to be like have bank so preparation before you open the business in the first place and is key. And if you can have funds, even better. Given most small business owners usually credit card financing and family finance. Uh, but that's my uh, tips for today. Hope this is useful. Comment below. Um, I love to have more people reach out and let me know what they think. Have an awesome day, and I look forward to talking to you guys again.